Hey, Jason here, and today I got another Audacity song making tutorial. I definitely said I'd be easing out the Audacity content just because I'm learning more and advancing as an artist, so well, of course I'm taking y'all along for that journey, I always want to help those of you out that pop into my comments saying Audacity is all you got to work with right now. Plus the fact y'all run up my Audacity content alone to over a half million views is insane, so I feel obligated to bring some summer music vibes today with this music tutorial using Skybox by Gunna. Hopefully you like how that little snippet sounded, totally understand if Gunna or Cloud Rap isn't your cup of tea as well, but of course, hopefully the mixing sounded good because that's the focus here. Let's start off with how I recorded these vocals. There's five basic steps to my process. First, make sure your mic can communicate with your computer. For me, that's making sure my mic is plugged in, and once I've opened Audacity, that it's selected as the mic input. My mic is the Rode NT1, by the way, and if you want to know more about this guy, I'd strongly recommend you to check out my comparison between this $300 mic and the $100 mic I had before it. I've made good music with both mics though, so don't feel like you gotta have expensive gear to make good stuff. Anyway, step two is to make sure you have headphones or earbuds that'll allow you to listen to the instrumental of the song without having the mic pick that up. Step three is what you'd expect naturally follows, getting that instrumental file and dragging it into Audacity. Step four is to click tracks, add new, then mono track to give us a track to hold our vocals. And last but not least, step five is to click that fat red record button and sing or rap your heart out. Now, there's a good chance some of you have seen my previous music making videos, so if that's you, you've absolutely heard me emphasize recording more than you need, utilizing lots of tracks to hold different sections of the song. I've always kind of glossed over showing me actually doing this myself just for the sake of the tutorial, but this time I got the receipts to show y'all just how messy my vocals are once they're all in. Clearly, if this was all unmuted, the repeat parts would fight with each other, there's background noise and random interruptions we don't want in there, and overall, this is not a pleasing thing to listen to. However, this can all easily be refined with this silence button right here. This doesn't delete the audio, because that would mess up the timing, but instead silences it, acting as our cheat code in this process. I'm just gonna listen to what I got, delete entire takes that are bad, silencing extra audio from the takes that are good, till I'm down to cleaned up, yet still raw vocals. Let's get started with the mix. Let me put out there that I understand Audacity is not designed for mixing music because its editing is destructive. There's no building out a plugin chain that you can tweak while keeping the original audio intact. That's why I've gradually started moving over to Cakewalk, a 100% free DAW that's a lot more akin to Logic, Fruity Loops, or Ableton than Audacity is. However, I'm working on videos that'll help introduce y'all to Cakewalk soon, and for the time being, save a copy of the unedited Audacity project separately from the one you mess around with the plugins on, just so you can fall back on that just in case. First plugin first, Prefix, a noise gate that cuts out audio that's quieter than a certain threshold. You should have muted any obvious extra audio already, but this will get rid of background noise and breaths that are more insidious. You want to tweak that threshold though to make sure it's leaving the vocals alone and targeting the extra audio. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Huh? Getting high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot, and it's plush, die, and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. Next up, TDR Nova, my trusty baseline EQ plugin. This removes frequency ranges we don't want, cuts out some of those boxy frequencies, and pulls out some nice crisp. For this tutorial, I'd say download the presets I've linked in the description, and actually don't tweak the settings for this specific plugin. The next plugin is where I'd recommend doing sound signature tweaks. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Huh? Getting high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot, and it's plush, die, and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. That next plugin is TDR Slick EQ, and these three knobs right here are where I'd recommend that you mess with the settings to ensure the audio is sounding right to you. I use Slick EQ here to cut out some more low end, 
and add even more crisp to the vocals. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. Disclaimer, for the more seasoned mixing engineer, not sure why you beat this deep in a beginner tutorial on Audacity, but I understand my process here is very different from how you'd professionally mix. Stepping stones, man. I'm just learning, as I'm sure y'all watching are too, and I just found the plugins that I showed to give the best ratio of ease of use to results for a developing artist. Now that said, let's pop a de onto our audio to combat harsh sibilance. Spitfish hasn't failed me yet as far as third-party freeware goes, so I'm just gonna apply that. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. Now that we've traded muddy vocals for crispy vocals with those EQ edits, let's talk about pitch correction or autotune. There's really no other plugin that's as misunderstood. So talking about what it is first, it's a plugin that pulls notes to the nearest true notes in a given scale. And it doesn't make music making effortless like a lot of people think. But it's also pretty important, especially in our example song, Skybox. So I'm using it here in a key of D flat major and a retune speed of five. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. After autotune, we're going to use a compressor called TDR Katelnikov to help regulate the volume of our vocals and level everything out. You can see my settings for a basic mix on screen now. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. After that, we're going to use the built-in Audacity Echo plugin as a delay, putting in 0.426 seconds as the delay time and 0.05 as the decay, basically how fast the echo fades out. That 0.426 seconds comes from dividing 60 by the BPM of the song, 141, giving us this standard delay time. You'll want to do that for your song too, making sure that delay fits your song's tempo. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. Before we round things out with reverb, let me just mention the little gain sliders on the tracks. If you followed along so far and play your song as it is now, you probably notice the instrumental is way louder than it should be. So to fix that, you just bring this gain slider down to around negative six to eight decibels. I went with six for Skybox. And lastly, we're gonna add a simplified reverb, Tau Reverb 2, which is kind of like icing on the cake for all songs and especially cloud rap like Skybox. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. This is actually the only difference between the hook and verse tracks and the ad lib tracks as well. The ad libs, I use these slightly different reverb settings right here and then drop the gain slider so they're not as upfront as the main vocals. Hotter than sake, I like it, I cop it, and nobody's stopping the growth. Nobody's stopping the growth. Small daddy, we sit in the lobby, we just run it out the floor. Hugging uh, high in the sky, boss, I can see ya. High spot and it's plush, die and it's litty. Screwed shop, uh, Gucci size, got him drippy. Let's take a listen to Skybox, recreated with my vocals and with simplified mixing, using free plugins and audacity. They tough and they talk on the internet, but they never go at him. See, I took a loss and it made me a boss. I look now and do better than ever. They casually flop, Scotty wouldn't cough when I'm trying to get higher than ever.
I don't know about you, but I think that's impressive and also super important in developing as an artist, getting results that sound really good, even if you're not professional or mainstream with your methods quite yet. Also, as always, there's free presets for all the plugins used here that you can download from the description below. To use these guys, download the XML file and from the open plugin in Audacity, click the three bars, then import and find and select the XML preset file. Before I let the outro play with the finished Skybox cover, let me shout out my own content real quick for those of you that are new. I make tech reviews in addition to the music stuff, photo and video in addition to the tech stuff, and lifestyle content in addition to the camera stuff. I'd love to see you around here after you finish this video, but for now, subs if you loves, and I'll see you in the next video.